Hello, Miramar College. My name is Robert Perry. I'm going to be your instructor for this eight-week summer session. Um, the class is going to run from June 15th to uh, August 8th. So Political Science 101, we're going to look at an introduction to political science. Okay, so um, first of all, here are uh, kind of our office hours. You know, a lot of these lectures that I have for you are going to be recorded and you can watch at your leisure. We're going to do it kind of asynchronously, right? But... On Thursdays from 7 to 8, I'll be on here. I'll send you a Zoom link, and we'll have a mini lecture. This is not mandatory for your participation because I know this is a strict online class, but I'll send out the Zoom link, and if you want to jump on and um, kind of follow along the lecture, that is fine. Um, we'll also discuss things that are going on in the world. We'll also talk about some of the aspects of class during those times. So that is one thing that I wanted to set up. All right, so remember that Thursdays from 7 to to eight. Um, usually we'll go for about seven to seven thirty and then I'll take the last half hour to maybe answer your questions and, and talk about class. All right, so we have uh, our required text is the introduction to political science, how to think for yourself about politics. You have the ISBN number, uh, the library should have it. Um, if you look at online, there might be resources that have online copies that might be a little bit cheaper than 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 buying it or renting it as a traditional textbook. Here are our SLOs and our objectives in this class. Okay, so let's go ahead and skip down. You guys can take a look at all this on your own. Um, as you know, we're going to be using Canvas um, attendance policy. Basically, if you stop showing up, it is your responsibility to withdraw from class. I'm not going to drop you. Um, so if you are not showing up for class and not uh, doing any of the assignments, um, you will get a grade in this class. So just kind of to try to remind you to to uh, withdraw if, if you um, intend to not take the course anymore. Okay, so we're going to have weekly reading assignments. Um, we're going to have two weekly discussion assignments per, um, for a total of 16 for these eight weeks. They're going to be uh, a little bit, there's going to be a little bit of notation of what I expect out of that. Um, midterm will be approximately July 13th on a Monday um, I'll give you a study guide for that. The final will be on August 7th. Uh, we're going to have uh, four political awareness assignments. So what I want you to do in these guys, with these guys is to um, make a, 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 a short paper about a news article that you read that kind of reflects about a world of American politics or even uh, global politics. So you could take that and you can find maybe a new story and give me the link and Tell me a little bit about what you found and a little bit about what you learned. Okay, we also have a quiz on ideologies. Um, that question will be posted um, in Canvas. It'll be a written quiz, and that'll be due, I think, the second Saturday of June. I mean, the second Saturday in our June uh, meeting. Um, so that'll probably be um, June 26th. Okay, so here are the point totals. Here are the scales, 250 to 225 or an A. That's good. 224 to 220, that's a B. That's good. 199 to 175 is a C. That is good. Uh, D, we need to work a little harder. And F, we don't want to talk about this. All right? So just remember that. Okay, so a little bit of what I expect out of discussion questions. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, um, you know, you answer your discussion questions. Discussion responses are going to be due on Wednesdays and Fridays. Now, I know a lot of students tend to wait till the last minute to uh, submit their discussion questions. I also expect you guys to respond to two other students. So those responses for Wednesday to your other classmates are going to be due on Friday. And the discussions that are due on Friday, your responses to your classmates will be due on Sunday. So I'll grade the day, the day after that. So for example, for the Wednesday discussions, you make your post by 11.59, then you have until Friday to uh, post... Um, responses to your fellow classmates, and then I'll grade on Saturday. And the same thing with Fridays. I'll uh, You respond by Friday to the regular question, respond to your classmates by Sunday, and then I'll grade on Monday. All right, you know, just, you know, uh, you know, get your answers out of the text or off of the PowerPoints. And um, there'll be, uh, there are the instructions here on how to do it. Okay, we have a one short essay quiz. It's actually due on the 29th. I have posted the question under week three in Canvas. It'll have to do with ideologies. 
All right, we have a midterm exam, which will cover chapters one through seven. I will provide you a study guide, and we'll have a review of that before the meeting, uh, before the class meeting prior to the exam. So it'll be chapters one to seven. We also have a final exam, which will be on August 7th. Again, it'll be the second half of class, chapters eight to 13. Uh, here's a little bit about the political awareness assignments. Like I said, find a topic that can relate to American politics or global politics. Uh, give me the title. Give me the source. Uh, tell me how it relates to class. Uh, why did you pick this event? Your feelings on this event. Now, you could do this in essay format, addressing each of these five points, or you can do it in uh, kind of, you know, doing title and then the source, then C, then D, then E with your responses to those. So that would work out for you as well. Um, we also have a research paper. This is going to be 40% of your grade, or 40 points of your grade, sorry. Uh, six to eight page paper uh, based on library and online sources and analyzing a topic in political science, whether it's global politics or American politics. You pick, you decide. As long as it's within the realm of politics, you should be okay. Um, six to eight pages, not including works cited, abstract or cover page. You could do it in MLA or APA format, however you want. So uh, I also have the calendar here and a little bit of what's going to be going on and some of the things that are due. So you have due dates. Um, we also have a Canvas shell, and I'm going to click over to that. If you look at the Canvas shell, for example, if you go to our homepage here, uh, here's our class. And if you look, uh, we have these tabs that are broken up by weeks. It'll take you to the week that we're going to be studying. So if you hit week one, here's the content that we're going to be doing on week one. We have learning content. We have the readings. We have the two discussion questions. We have our first assignment due on June 20th. And then we have the lectures. I post a PowerPoint lectures and a video about review about those lectures. So these are PowerPoints. These are me talking about the PowerPoints and giving you a little bit of insight about what um, we're going to be talking about. All right, so that's how the class is going to be going. If you work hard, if you stay on task, I'll work with you. Um, if there's something that you don't understand, please let me know and we can try to explain it to you. We can do it on Zoom. We can do it over email. We can do it however you like. So just remember to keep up. Don't fall behind. And if you need any help, I can definitely be available for you. All right. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you.